Okay, here we go for another round of the uh, anti-DIY owns cooling with Krauss when it comes to not using a puller and taking apart a rusty fan like a man. So let's let everybody look close at this one before I touch it. And uh, we're going to see if our good friend Krauss can beat the time with his silly puller. Let's take a closer look here. This one's pretty bad. It is crusty rusty. This whole blower is in bad shape. If I'm not mistaken, this might have come out of a mobile home. I don't know, but got it from the junkyard. So I'm going to pull the set bolt wherever it is out, and then I'm going to set this thing up here on the tripod. And I'm going to do my treatment here, and I'm going to do it in real time with a timer and yes i'm going to use sandpaper yes i'm going to use jack of all sprays and yes i'm going to use my cool little toy here and here's what i think i think i can have this whole thing apart and out by the time he can put his puller on there and tighten up the bolts and hook it up and get it ready to go but Maybe not, but either way, the overall time frame and the amount of trouble and silliness with the puller is not for me. But I'm having fun with this little back and forth we're doing. Hopefully, he'll find him a really bad one like this and use his puller and see what he can do. Here we go, round two. Okay, we can see what time it is again. It is time for round two of the anti-DIY owns cooling with Krauss once again. Let's take a closer look at this. Let me get the light on. All right, this one's pretty bad. So hopefully he can find one as bad as this to use his silly little puller on. So uh, what I'm going to do is prove once again that a puller is a waste of time and it takes longer to use a puller than to take this out my way. So I've got the set screw pulled out. And I've not sprayed anything or done anything as of yet. Because we're gonna let the we're gonna let the time be recorded in real time to remove this thing. So um, mainly what we're looking at here is puller time, not the amount of time that you, you know, bring it in, sit it on the floor, take the bolt out, whatever. So what he and I are kind of racing and having fun and comparing and debating back and forth is, you know, is it really worth it to have that silly puller and to use it? For one thing that really is not logical, the more you tighten down on this hub out here with the, you know, the uh, set bolts that are in the side of the puller, the more you're actually working against yourself, it would seem. So if it's a really tough one that won't move, you're gonna have to really tighten those puller bolts down, which is squeezing this hub. And that is the opposite of what you're trying to do. You're trying to get the shaft out of the hub. You're not trying to squeeze the hub down on the shaft. So, you know, there's a lot of guys that say heat it. They say this, that, and you heat this and it warps this thin metal. I mean, it's just not the thing to do. The thing to do is to be a mechanic or be a hands-on guy and just take it apart, get it apart like a man. 
you don't need that little girly puller. But we're gonna prove that once again. Here's my puller, by the way. So yeah, you could say I do have a, a tool I use. I mean, you call that a puller, a pusher, whatever you wanna call it. So what I'm gonna do, like I say, I've got the set bolt out. I'm gonna start from right there and I'm going to, uh, in real time, so you can see the timestamp on the video going, I'm going to prep this shaft my way, do what I do, and take it out. Now, I don't care how he does it. So if he wants to try to beat my time and see that, you know, he can prove his puller is efficient or maybe he can concede and, you know, realize that pullers are silly. But anyway... As long as he takes his set bolt out and then starts out however he wants to. He can stick it on there and start tightening down his Allen bolts. He can do whatever he wants to do with his time. I'm going to use my time, you know, as smart as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this down a little bit to get a clean spot. I'm going to sand the shaft. I'm going to spray it with lubricant, spray a little lubricant in that hole. And then I'm going to take my tool and I'm gonna push it right out of there. So that period of time that it takes from the time I start working until the time it's out is what is fair for him to compare to and do the same thing. Um, that's Coolin with Krauss. Both of those start with a K, Coolin with Krauss. And uh, he has a channel, he's a lot of fun. Just, uh, just an old hippie boy, kinda like me. He's a little younger than I am, so I'm having to school him a bit. And he's a little bit hard-headed, so let's teach him another lesson right here. Now, I don't know if you can find one this bad or not. Um, so, that easy one you did was, yeah, come on, man. You know better than that. Get a hard one. And let's make a fair comparison. All right, let's get going. Okay. So, we'll start the timer when I begin work. And I'm gonna begin work in just a second here. So I'll go through quickly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap me a little punch hole right there to hold my puller bit still, my pusher, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take and tap that down, grab a couple pieces of sandpaper, then I'm gonna make the shaft clean up a bit. I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna prop it up and immediately drive it out. So, the timer starts now. Good enough. I'm guessing that old Cooley is tightening up his Allen bolts. Playing around with his puller. And I'm not. Putting a little of this on it. Getting it on the shaft. Wipe away the excess just because I don't like it. Not that it really matters. Now, prop this thing up. And 
Here goes nothing. How long was that? Cooling? So, you have been schooled once again because you and I both know that you can't find one that was that bad and you can't prep it in that period of time and set your puller up and drive it out. Now go back to the first of the video and look at how bad it was. It was bad, it was rusted. And for whoever the guy is that uh, tried to say he didn't believe that this was authentic and that I, uh, I got it loose first and got it out and then put it back on and, uh, and then knocked it out for the video. Whoever that guy was, I deleted that comment by the way. Whoever that guy was, maybe you wanna say the same thing here, but it's pretty obvious what happened. My buddy cooling with Krauss just got schooled again. Your turn, Krauss. Let's go.